February 7, Exodus 25, 1-26-37 Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they, that they bring me an offering from, any, from everyone who gives it willingly with his heart. You shall take my offering, and this is the offering which you shall take from them, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen, and goat's hair, ram skins dyed red, badger skins, and acacia, acacia wood, oil for the light and spices, for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense, onyx stones and stones to be set in the ephod and in the ephod and in the breastplate and let them make me a sanctuary that i may dwell among them according to all that i show you that is the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furnishings just so you shall make it and they shall make an ark of acacia wood two and a two and a half cubits shall be its length a cubit and a half its width and a cubit and a half its height and you shall overlay it with pure gold inside and out you shall overlay it and shall make on it a molding of gold all around you shall cast four rings of gold for it and put them in its four corners Two rings shall be on one side and two rings on the other side, and you shall make poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. You shall put the poles into the rings of the sides of the ark, that the ark may be carried by them. The poles shall be in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. And you shall put into the ark the testimony which I give you. You shall make a mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits shall be its length, and a cubit and a half its width, and you shall make two cherubim of gold of hammered work, you shall make them at the two ends of the mercy seat, make one cherub at one end, and the other cherub at the other end, you shall make the cherubim at the two ends of it of one piece with a mercy seat and the cherubim shall stretch out their wings above covering the mercy seat which with their wings and they shall face one another the faces of the cherubim shall be toward the mercy seat you shall put the mercy seat on top of the ark and in the ark you shall put the testimony that i will give you and there i will meet with you and uh, I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from heaven, the two, the two cherubim which are on the ark of the testimony about everything which I will give you in the commandment to the children of Israel. You shall also make a table of acacia wood, two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height and you shall overlay it with pure gold and make a molding of gold all around you shall make for it a frame of a hand breadth all around and you shall make a gold molding for the frame all around and you shall make it four rings of gold and put the rings of the four corners that are at its four legs the ring shall be close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table. And you shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, that a table may be carried with them. You shall make its dishes, its pans, its pitchers, and its bowls for pouring. You shall make them of pure gold, and you shall set the showbread on the table before me always you shall also make a lampstand of pure gold the lampstand shall be of hammered work its shaft its branches its bowls 
its ornamental knobs and flowers shall be of one piece and a six and a six branches shall come out of its sides three branches of the lampstand out of one side and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side three bowls shall be made like almond blossoms on one branch with an ornamental knob and a flower and the three bowls made like almond blossoms on the other branch with an or ornamental knob and a flower and so for the six branches that come out of the lampstand on the lampstand itself four bowls shall be made like almond blossoms with each with its ornamental knob and flower and there shall be a knob under the first two branches of the same a knob under the second two branches of the same and a knob under the third branches of the same according to the six branches that extend from the lampstand their knobs and their branches shall be of one piece all of it shall be one hammered piece of pure gold you shall make seven lamps for it and they shall arrange its lamps so that they give light in front of it and its wick trimmers and their trays shall be of pure gold it shall be made of a talent of, go of pure, pure gold with all these utensils and see to it that you make them according to the pattern to the pattern which was shown you on the mountain moreover you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine woven linen and per and blue purple and scarlet thread with artistic design of cherubim you shall weave them the length of each curtain shall be 28 cubits and the width of its curtain four cubits and every one of the curtains shall have the same measurements five curtains shall be coupled to one another and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another and you shall make loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtain on the selvage of one set and likewise you shall do on the outer edge of the other curtain of the second set 50 loops you shall make it you shall make in the one curtain and 50 loops you shall make on the edge of the curtain that is on the edge of the second set that the loops may be may be clasped to one another and you shall make 50 clasps of gold and couple the curtains together with the claps with the clasps so that it may be one tabernacle you shall also make curtains of goat's hair to be a tent over the tabernacle you shall make 11 cur curtains the length of each curtain shall be 30 cubits and the width of each curtain four curtain four cubits and 11 curtains shall all have the same measurements and you shall couple five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves and you shall double over the six curtains at the forefront of the tent you shall make 50 loops of the edge of the curtain that is outermost in one set and 50 loops on the edge of the curtain of the second set and you shall make 50 bronze clasps put the clasps into the loops of the couple of couple the tent together that it may be one that it may be one the remnant that curtains the the remnant that remains of the curtains of the tent the half curtain that remains shall hang over the back of the tabernacle and a cubit on one side and a cubit on the other side of what remains of the length of the curtains of the tent shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle on this side and on that side to cover it you shall also make a covering of ram skins dyed red for the tent and a covering of badger skins above that 
for the tabernacle you shall make the boards of acacia wood standing upright ten cubits shall be the length of a board and a cubit and a half shall be the width of each board two ten two tenons shall be an each board for binding one to another thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle and you shall make the boards for the tabernacle twenty boards for the south side you shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons and for the second side of the tabernacle the north side there shall be twenty boards and there forty sockets of silver two sockets under each of the boards for the far side of the tabernacle westward you shall make six boards and you shall also make two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle they shall be coupled together at the bottom and they shall be coupled together at the top by one ring thus it shall be for both of them they shall be for the two corners so there shall be eight boards with two sockets of silver sixteen sockets two sockets under each of the boards and you shall make bars of acacia wood five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle and five and five bars for the boards on the side of the tabernacle for the far side westward the middle bar shall pass through the midst of the boards from end to end you shall overlay the boards with gold make their rings of gold as holders for the bars and overlay the bars with gold and you shall raise up the tabernacle according to its pattern which you were shown on the mountain you shall make a veil woven of blue purple and the scarlet thread and fine woven linen it shall be a woven with an artistic design of turban you shall hang it upon the four pillars of the acacia wood overlaid with gold their hooks shall be gold upon four sockets of silver and you shall hang the veil from the clasps then you shall bring the ark of the testimony in there behind the veil the veil shall be a divider for you between the holy place and the most holy you shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy you shall set the table outside the veil and the lampstand across from the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south and you shall put the, the table on the north side you shall make a screen for the door of the tabernacle woven of blue purple and scarlet thread and the fine woven linen made by a weaver and you shall make for the screen five pillars of acacia wood and overlay them with gold their hooks shall be gold and you shall cast five sockets of bronze for them psalm 19 7 to 14 the law of the lord is perfect converting the soul the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple the statutes of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of the lord is pure enlightening the eyes the fear of the lord is clean enduring forever the judgments of the lord are true and righteous altogether more to be desired are they than gold yeah than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb moreover by them your servant is warned and in keeping them there is great reward you can understand his errors cleanse me from secret faults keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins let them not have dominion over me then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Proverbs 6, 32-35 
whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding, he who does so destroys his own soul. Wounds and dishonor he will get, and his reproach will not be wiped away. For jealousy is a husband's fury. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will accept no recompense, nor will he be appeased, though you give many gifts. Matthew 24, 1-28 Then Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came up to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, Do you not see all these things? Assuredly, I say to you, not one stone shall be left here upon one another, upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciple came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age and jesus answered and said to them take heed that no one devises you for many will come in my name saying i am the christ and will deceive and will deceive many and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is yet to come, is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended will betray one another and will hate one another then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many and because lawlessness will abound the love of many will grow cold but he who endures to the end shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter or in the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Then if anyone says to you, Look, here's the Christ. Or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive possible even the elect see i have told you before beforehand therefore if they say to you look he is in the desert do not go out or look he is in the inner rooms do not believe it for as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west so also will the coming of the sun the son of man be for where for wherever, for wherever the carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
for your goodness and your faithfulness, Lord. You are great, O God. You are mighty. You deserve, O Lord, all the praises, glory, and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name.